A new report out today on California's deadliest wildfire ever. It paints a really sobering picture of what the rest of the state could face in the near future. Scientists looked at the 2018 Camp Fire to figure out how it exploded. The inferno north of Sacramento killed 85 people, destroyed 18,000 homes and buildings. You may remember the fire for the damage it inflicted on this one town, the town of Paradise, which became front page news. Today's report found that town was relatively well prepared for a big fire and still got destroyed. CBC's Scott Cohn live at Boulder Creek tonight. Scott, what else did we learn from this review? Well, Shep, this really was about learning to better deal with what's become a fact of life in California and elsewhere, really now year round. And case in point, where I am in the Santa Cruz Mountains, uh, south of the Bay Area, this is a fire that burned in August. But when the winds kicked up here just last month, they actually reignited embers from that fire and the fire briefly started up again. That is how dry that it has been. That campfire back in 2018 followed 200 days with no rain. In addition to the horrific death toll, nearly $17 billion in damage, tearing through the town of Paradise like a giant blowtorch. So scientists with the National Institute of Standards and Technology, working with local partners, reconstructed the fire, which they found started about seven miles outside of town, but that did not create a buffer for the community. It actually gave the fire the distance to actually kick up more of a fury. They say it was a perfect storm, but in this age of climate change, not unique. The fires are becoming uh, more uh, rapid in their fire spread. They're becoming more aggressive in terms of the energy being released. So we have to respond and prepare for them. So the report makes some recommendations, among them more attention to hardening structures like homes and businesses to keep them from catching fire and spreading the fire to other places. Also looking at ways to keep the escape routes more open and passable and trying to gain a better understanding of how fires behave now. They'll actually have a follow-up report on this uh, due out next year. Now, the local electric utility PG&E has acknowledged that its equipment actually sparked the fire. This, the largest utilities in California have now told the state they plan to spend $13 billion on wildfire prevention this year. But worth pointing out, Shep, that this fire was touched off not by utilities, but by lightning. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.